Good morning, Eagles. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd. We have information about ACT prep. We also have information on our next pep rally. This and more up next on Eagle TV. Athletic Booster Club scholarship applications for seniors are now available for pickup in your counselor's office. Please do not procrastinate about completing these applications. There will be 10 $500 scholarships given at each school by our athletic booster clubs. The final date to return these applications to your counselor's office will be Friday, April 20th. To all FC members and non-members, there will be a meeting on April 6th in the Green Gym. Coach Ryan Roberts is backed by popular demand, and if you haven't had a chance to hear him speak, then you don't want to miss this amazing speaker. Please come out and enjoy the fellowship, thanks to your sponsor, Ms. Holmes. Don't forget to sign up for Powder Puff Friday in the Student Union during your lunch. It's only $5 and you must have your ID. Are you getting ready to take the ACT this spring or just interested in learning more about the ACT? Join us in the lecture hall tomorrow, April 4th during Eagle Time as we host a presenter that will give information on ACT versus SAT, test taking strategies, test format, practice questions, and more. Please sign up in Flex Time Manager. All green cord hours must be completed by April 13, 2018 to count for the 2017-2018 school year. All 2017-2018 hours must be verified no later than May 1, 2018. If you have any questions, please feel free to email mtaylor04 at nisdtx.org or come to the front office and ask to see Ms. Taylor. The Lady Eagles soccer team has advanced to the second round of playoffs and will play Colleyville Her Heritage tonight. The game will be played here at Eaton and start at 7.15. Come out and support your Lady Eagles soccer as they try to extend their playoff run. The EHS Counseling Department is sponsoring an upcoming College 101 event that is taking place today at 6 p.m. in the PAC. The event is for junior students and parents. We will have a guest panel of 10 representatives from different colleges and universities covering a variety of topics related to college admissions, SAT, ACT, ASVAB testing, NCAA, financial aid, and essay writing. Eagles, HOSA needs your help. If you have been directly affected or know anyone who has been directly affected by organ donation and will be willing to talk about your experience, please contact us at eatonhosa at gmail.com or via the Eaton HOSA Twitter. Video Announcements is doing a special segment this year where we will be showing interviews for the following 2018 Eagles class who would be graduating this year. If anyone who is a part of the 2018 graduation class would like to be a part of this, please email christina.mccree at student.nisdtx.org for more information. Eagles, are you interested in serving your community? Do you need community service hours for NHS or Green Corps? If so, you can be a part of this EHS Interact Club. Our next meeting will be Thursday, April 5th at 8 a.m. in Ms. Meckel's room E106. If you are interested or unable to attend the meeting, please come by E106 for more information. The month of April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. As our goal is to raise awareness, we want to teach you how to get involved. The Blue Ribbon Campaign is the symbol for child abuse prevention to represent the blue color of a child's bruise. The campaign is a community-wide effort to recognize our joint responsibility to prevent and confront all forms of child abuse and neglect. We challenge everyone to wear blue on Friday, April 6th. Our hope is that you will learn some facts about child abuse prevention and awareness this week. You can be the one to affect change. Know the signs. Know the truth. According to childhelp.org, children and teens are suffering from a hidden epidemic of child abuse and neglect. It's a widespread war against children and teens that we have the power to stop. Understanding the issue is the first step. Just how bad is the issue of child abuse in the United States? Every year, more than 3.6 million reports of child and teen abuse are made in the United States involving more than 6.6 .6 million children and teens. As a report can include multiple children, 90% of child sexual abuse victims know the perpetrator in some way. 68% are abused by a family member. If someone is hurting you or doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable or you know someone in this situation, who can you tell? You can tell a trusted adult like a parent or a relative. Let's wear blue on Friday to show support. On April 24th, your VR Eaton FFA chapter will be conducting their Ag Olympics meeting at 4.30 in the lecture hall. We will be electing new officers for the 2018-2019 year, as well as competing for the Ag Olympics prize that will be awarded at the FFA banquet in May. We will also be serving Dickie's Barbecue for our members to eat. We hope all members can attend. Today, Eaton High School is proud to fly our American flag for Nakia Flood. 
Today's heroes served in the Army and deployed multiple times. The Eaton Eagles are incredibly grateful to Nakia Flood and to her niece and eagle, Jordan Vine, for making this nomination. And now for the moment of silence and pledges. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. That's all we have for you today, Eagles. I'm Jordan McCluskey. And I'm Brooke Wells, and this has been Eagle TV. Make it a great day, Eagles.